Hey there! I've talked a lot about walking technique, mainly for the purpose of keeping you healthy and pain-free, but there's more to walking than just that. You can communicate a lot of things by the way you walk. You may be telling people that you're rushed, or you could be telling them that you're calm and relaxed. You could be telling people you don't want anybody to look at you, or you could be telling them that you want everybody to look at you. We communicate so much by the way we walk, and only some of that is in the technique. Part of it is in the style. So in this video, I'm going to talk about style with walking and how we can get just a little bit of swagger when we walk. I've had some viewers ask me about how they can put a little shoulder into their movement and whether that's appropriate or not. I've also had people ask me about the style of certain actors that they like and the way those actors walk and how they can emulate that. So that's what I wanted to focus on in this video. In this walking style, I'm going to show you how to put a little shoulder into it. And when I say shoulder, I mean this. When I talk about walking technique in all my other videos, what I'm talking about is the rotation of your abdominal core that's always moving forward. And that's what progresses your body forward when we're walking in a normal, functional manner. But we can add just a little bit of sway when we walk, when in that last moment, right after the mid stance phase, instead of just turning forward on one side, let's say if I'm stepping forward with my right leg, I'm turning my upper body forward on the left. During that period after the mid stance phase, during what we call terminal swing, please refer to my gait cycle video for that, during the phase after that mid stance phase, what we're going to do, instead of just turning forward on the left, I'm also going to take my shoulder blade on the right and turn it backwards. That's going to give a little bit of sway to the movement. We use this in dance all the time. We don't use it in walking a lot, but it adds a little bit of a lateral tilt to your pelvis as you do that motion kind of a Latin feel to the movement, but it gives just a little bit of extra essence or swagger in the way you're moving. And so you're turning forward on your left as you're stepping with the right. And right at the end of the step, you're gonna add just a little bit of backward pull with your right shoulder blade. That's what we mean by getting your shoulder into it. And it's gonna cause a little bit of sway that you can see here as I walk. I'm also going to demonstrate this in slow motion so you can see what this looks like. One of the things that's really important when you walk, if you're trying to have people notice you, is not just the walk itself, but it's also how you use your attitude and your eye contact and your personality. What we usually want to do when we're walking towards somebody is when you get about 20 feet away or so, you want to give them some eye contact. Let them know that you know they're there and that you recognize them. Then when you're about 10 feet away, what you want to do is give them a smile. And then when you're five feet away, say hi. That way they know that you are a friendly, engaged person. And being friendly is really a lot better than just being cool. One of the keys to make this work well is make sure you don't crash into your heel at the end of that. When we're swaying, that elongates the step just a little bit. Then we're going to turn forward on the side of the swing leg to bring that heel down in a controlled fashion. We do not want to lean forward at all and crash into the heel. So you're going to stretch that final phase of the step, rotating or what I call twisting. As my right leg goes forward, I'm twisting the body to the right. And then I'm going to return the curve of the body on that right side, bringing the heel down. And then I'm going to change weight and continue walking. Just make sure that you are communicating to people what you want to be communicating. And some of that is going to take a little knowledge, a little technique, 
and you can watch my videos and you'll be able to get that technique, master it, and communicate whatever you want with your body language. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell to get notifications for my future videos. Thanks for watching.